War fighters, law enforcement officers, and patriots have been running battle belts and war belts for centuries. I know I got a chance to grow up listening to some pretty cool stories from my family, uh, family members in Vietnam wearing Alice type systems or the LC2 and LC1 systems like these. I got a chance to listen to my grandfather's blood soaked horror stories running across the beaches of Normandy and in the Pacific wearing uh, equipment like this over here. And, uh, and, and all the way back to the Revolutionary War, which I'm, I'm very fortunate to have documentation of my family members wearing not necessarily knowing, but you know they wore those belts back then when they're running muskets. So everybody's had these belts. I've been wearing one. Uh, my brother's still in the military. For 29 years, we've been wearing battle belts of some type. And so it's given me a huge appreciation looking back at the history of the development of these things. These guys were geniuses. If you think about how they built this stuff, uh, that was Vietnam era-ish. And I even wore this in the 2000s because I think the, the conflicts that we've been in are a direct reflection of the equipment that was used. And so like with this was load bearing, jungles, uh, more uh, reconnaissance, patrol style stuff before flak jackets and, and plate carriers started to come out. Of course, we, you know, obviously these guys didn't wear that back then, but it's very similar design. The suspension was, was awesome, but today we're more lighter, we're faster, we have very complex plate carriers and systems. And so we have to think a little bit differently about our innovations. And so today what we're doing is we're introducing our version of that in today's world, the D3 belt. So we built this out of two inch custom webbing. And the reason that we did that is because we wanted a true one inch spacing from mounting our Molly pouches. And it works with everybody's one inch Molly pouches. One inch Molly is a standard. We sort of created our own standard with this two inch belt. Well, for us, the one and three quarter inch belt I think was designed because of one and three quarter inch inner belts because of the belt loop sizes on typical pants. Like if I was to put this on a pair of jeans right now or my, even my shorts, I would be able to still wear this. So you're probably asking, wait, why do a two inch belt then? Well, we still do a one and three quarter inch inner belt because I like wearing this every single day for everyday carry. Um, I put it on and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a minute. And, uh, and that way, if I ever need to throw my battle belt on, it's on, but we have this two inch custom webbing because we love the type 13 webbing out there, uh, which is a mil spec webbing that you'll typically see most of the one and three quarter inch belts made with. Uh, that poses some spec issues, right? So if I'm trying to take a, a Molly pouch like Trevor was saying and mount it onto the Molly of that one and three quarter, you get this kind of binding sometimes and it, and it loosens up and you gotta keep tightening down your pouches. So we decided to make a two inch spec. That way we have a half inch, one inch, half inch versus a half inch weird kind of three quarter and then a half inch. And you'll see in, in, in some of our other videos out there that how to mount these pouches and they're super solid. They don't move because when I'm drawing a handgun, drawing a magazine pouch, pulling a frag out or trying to get to med gear, I don't want it loose and shaky all over my body. Um, because like we said, it's, it's a different war right now. It's a different mission set right now. It's different equipment. So we got to think about all those things. Uh, when we use a three inch squadron, which is a heavy duty laminate that we fold over and then we sew it down to that custom two inch webbing. That allows us to have a much lighter system, a much more lower profile on your body um, and a much more, I think it's stronger. As far as the buckle guys, we're using a two inch Austrian Alpine uh, Pro Series buckle here. Uh, tried and true, combat proven, been running these for forever. I love these, they're super fast, easy to undo. Um, and what, what you notice here is that it is reversed, unlike most battle belts out there. The reverse design, allows us to keep the excess webbing inside and tucked down nice and clean and that way it still mounts on your inner belt as well versus having the webbing excess stowed on the outside with rubber bands or other things like that and getting in the way of maybe tourniquets or stuff because that's that's like valuable real estate right there um, and I want to keep that clean that's the reason why we went with that it's not this is not a helicopter suspension load rated belt so I know I might hang off a thing sometimes and get a little crazy, but I can't tell you to do that uh, because of liability. Obviously, the Pro Series or the actual helicopter rated belt is a natural organic progression for us. So just stay tuned for that one coming next if that's what you're looking for. Now it's time to talk about sizing. Sizing is absolutely one of the most important things that you need to consider when you're looking at belts. It doesn't matter what belt it is, if it's ours or if it's somebody else's, you have to have it sized accordingly. So where do we start? Where do you wear your belt? It's around your waist. Well, where's our waist? It's a little bit different for everybody. But what I want to say is that your waist size is not your pant size. So like I wear 34 pants. My waist size is actually 36. And that drops me into the medium size category on our, our sizing chart. 
So how do I take my measurement? All it is is I take a cloth tape. You want to use a flexible cloth tape for measuring yourself. And I'm just going to wrap it around my waist where I wear my pants. And as you can see, I fall right around the 36 inch mark. And again, that puts me in the medium size category. And you'll see that even on our inside of our belts, we have it marked medium size 36 to 40. And our belts all come in four inch increments. So you have a little bit of room to play. If you fall in between sizes, you should find a size that fits you really well. Because we're both on that uh, higher and yeah. very, I mean, I'm, I'm 210 pounds right now, six foot. Um, and I'm running between a, a 32 and 33 inch waist. So I still fit in this belt just like you in the 33 to 34 range. So, and a lot of you are probably saying, well, why don't I have to measure it? If I'm a medium, why don't you just make a medium? Guys, this isn't a belt you buy at Walmart. This is a gun belt. This is a life support equipment belt. You got guns and mags and, and things that save people's lives because the last time I checked, our job is still life preservation. And so don't, don't skimp on that, man. Make sure you guys measure it properly. It takes two seconds, okay? So the inner belt. The inner belt is relatively simple in design. On the inside, you've got type 13, one and three quarter webbing. On the outside, you have your loop field, and then you can see that we have it edge bound. That just reduces fraying, pilling, increases the durability, so you don't have to come back to us and buy another belt. Then you can see we've got our extruded hook, which is extremely strong. I mean, super strong, but it comes off really easily. Now, we wear these belts as our EDC belts. You can just put it on, then use your belt loop to just tuck it over and give it a little bit extra retention. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a perfect EDC belt, and then if you gotta put your shooter belt on or your battle belt on, you just pull your holster off, put your battle belt on, and you're ready to go. Guys, that's pretty much it for sizing. I know that you guys are gonna have a couple more questions. Reference the website, there's plenty of information out there with the sizing chart, and then you can also email our customer service. We'll get you squared away. As for the new spec, we're gonna have another video. It's actually in our playlist right now. You can jump over there just like we did with the thorax. You can go and check it out. We're gonna break this down for you, show you how the new pouches mount and how it interfaces with this belt and some of the other products that we have on our site. Guys, that's it on the D3 belt. Thank you for joining Trevor and I today for this launch. Stay sharp, be safe, and don't forget to die free.